Happy spring, everyone. Hope you've had some sunshine this past week or two. Uh, just got off spring break. It was fantastic. Currently working on a couple of upcoming uh, solo gigs. So I've been in the studio practicing for some of that stuff. Been working on some good video content coming up on the YouTube channel in the coming weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Today I wanted to briefly talk about podcasting uh, versus music. I have to be honest, I don't listen to as much music as I need to be listening to. Uh, certainly not near as much music as I used to listen to. I'm embarrassed to say so because of podcasting. I tend to listen to a whole lot of podcasts. Every morning I get up early and I run and exercise. And years ago, I would listen to an hour's worth of music every morning doing that. Now I find myself more and more listening to news and podcasts. And I think more and more Americans are finding themselves in that situation. During the past few years, the global music subscriber have surged to 26.4%. That's 523.9 million subscribers. Music streaming makes up 84% of the U.S. music industry revenue. Most Americans stream on average about 75 minutes of music per day. However, podcast has seen a soaring increase in the past few years. In 2021, podcast listeners uh, were 383.7 million. 2022, it went up to 424.2 million. 2023, 464.7 million. And the projected number in 2024 is 504.9 million listeners. So interesting idea. Is it possible that podcasting is going to overtake music streaming as the dominant source of entertainment worldwide? The music streaming market is projected to reach a revenue of $29.6 billion in 2024. It's expected to show an annual growth rate of 4.7, resulting in a projected market volume of $33.97 billion by 2027. However, the podcast market in 2022 reached an impressive $18.5 billion, but projections estimate that the podcasting market revenue will soar to $130.63 billion by 2023. $130 billion by 2030. Now, I certainly can't authenticate all of these numbers that I got on news sources online. However, it is interesting to think about the idea of podcasting overtaking the music as the predominant entertainment online. And years ago, I would have never thought that, but I find myself in the same situation, just like I mentioned. I certainly ingest way more podcasting throughout the week than I do listening to music and streaming music. And that just didn't used to be the case. I think in a world where we find that our time becomes very valuable, we try to take in as much information and news as we can by listening to those audio podcasts. Because you can do that while you're driving safely. You can do that while you're running. And uh, I don't find myself watching television anymore. And I think most Americans find that they're not watching much television and so we're getting our news and all of that information, political information, world news, by listening to podcasts. And so as we do that, instead of those opportunities to listen to music, maybe while we're driving to work, uh, I think that's going to change the dynamics some in the entertainment uh, market. And obviously, that could hurt music and uh, the music industry in the future. It's an interesting topic. Drop me a comment. Tell me if you think the podcast industry is going to damage the music industry in some form or fashion. We'll see you on the next one.